got allergies, can't breathe, then you want to pump your biceps to decrease the congestion so you can breathe again. So if you're like here in Austin, Texas, there's this it was the allergy capital of the world. You got the cedar still here. You're congested. Maybe you're dripping like crazy. Here's one technique that can help open up your sinuses and start decreasing that mucus. You're gonna pump your flex your bi biceps, and you see how your bicep comes like this, and then you're gonna draw a line that goes to, you know, draw like the end of your bicep. You're gonna draw a line here. You're gonna feel it's like the end of your deltoid. It's called the insertion. It's really tender. You're gonna push on that for 30 seconds, right? So you can push on both sides, and that's gonna target this area, your nose. These, there are nerves here that are connected to your nose, and then when you press on it, you will instantly see either drippage, clearing up, or decrease of that sinus problems, all right? Make sure you follow me here on TikTok. A, I've been suffering from COPD and I read that uh, in prevention that acupuncture was one of the ways to get some of the more deleterious effects of COPD to, to go away. So I thought, well, you know, uh, I'm taking all these meds and all this, let's give it a whirl, you know. And I've been coming here for three months and my CAT scan came back last week of uh, all organs within normal parameters. And so I would recommend yin uh, acupuncture to anybody who's suffering from allergies or COPD or I even chronic pain. Those of y'all who, you know, who have cedar fever, you probably experienced some relief with the snow, right? With the rain and the snow that kind of temporarily eliminates the cedar pollen within the air. But what, but now the sun's out, like this, the weather's gonna get beautiful. And so you're gonna have that cedar pollen coming up even more. And so your cedar fever is gonna come back. So what are the things, uh, last, I believe last week, last week I talked about some acupressure using our QRA acupressure um, to help alleviate some of your allergy symptoms, right? But what can you do to actually solve your cedar problem? And so one of the things I was talking to a patient today, actually, and so that, st that stimulated me to do this post today, is what are some things that you can do at home, dietary-wise? What are some things that are actually making your cedar fever even worse, okay? Now, I'm not talking about, you know, people who are taking the steroids, taking the Nasonex, the uh, Allegra, the antihistamines, and you're kind of just masking your cedar, you know, your cedar fever. Um, so, but for those of y'all who don't want to take those medications, or maybe you're taking those medications and you still have cedar fever, then you want to do some of these changes that you can do at home. So, what are those things? You want to decrease inflammatory foods. Okay, let me write that word. Inflammatory. These are these are inflammatory foods. You want to make sure you decrease them because they make your allergies worse, guaranteed. Dairy products, that's, now that's from animal, animal dairy products, okay, animal. So cow milk, goat's milk, terrible for you, terrible for your allergies. I know it tastes great, but it's terrible for you. It actually causes your mucus to secrete, I mean your sinuses to secrete even more mucus to make it worse. So you want to stop all dairy products. That's milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, butter. Change, stop all that. You can switch to like nut milks, cashew milk, coconut milk, soy milk, uh, what other milk is there? Rice milk, all of those other types of milks are almond milk, are better for you than cow milk or goat milk, okay? Second thing is sugar. Sugar is inflammatory for everything. It's just terrible for everything. Yes, it tastes great, but it's terrible for everything, right? It makes things worse, makes the inflammation worse. If you can't breathe through your nose, you can't breathe in your lungs, that's because you have swelling. Swelling is inflammation. Inflammation is acidic. Sugar makes that acidity worse. And the last one, animal protein. You gotta reduce your animal protein, okay? You don't have to stop it completely, but you gotta reduce it. Why? All animal protein is acidic. So the more acid gets you more inflammation. More acid gets you more inflammation, which makes your cedar fever worse, okay? I know some of y'all are like, oh, I don't want to stop dairy. I don't want to do stop animal protein. I love my barbecue. Hey, your choice. 
Cedar fever, or right now, temporarily, stop all of these things, right? Your choice. Cedar fever, you feel like crap, can't breathe, you're tired all the time, and you're tired so you're going to get fat, and then you're just, what do you want, right? Versus you stop all this, guess what? When you stop all this, you actually get some side benefits. You get more energy, right? Your cedar fever gets better, if not goes away, right? Uh, you might actually lose some weight because you're eating less sugar. All these things will make you gain weight, okay? I mean, not animal protein, uh, but dairy and sugar will make you gain weight. So if you decrease that, you might actually lose weight. So there's side benefits, right? But it's your choice. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, hey, this is what I told, this is what, I, what we instruct our patients to do at Achieve Integrative Health um, to help them restore their organ function. And so, because we usually see the cases where people have allergies for years. Um, they've done the medications, the over-counter medications, they've done the prescription medications, and it initially worked, but now it ain't working. And so now they're suffering, even though they're taking a shitload of drugs, uh, they're still suffering, right? And so these are the things, simple things, not easy, but simple things you can do to re help you reduce your cedar fever. All right, guys, this is Jimmy Yan from Achieve Integrative Health. Um, as always, everything in life is achievable, but it's up to you.